baby. I hate when you say that. Because it's not true. Baby, you're not alone. You're not. Not even in the slightest. I'm right here beside you. I know. I know it feels lonely. I think we all feel lonely from time to time. Yeah, baby, I, even I feel lonely sometimes. Yeah. I think it's just part of the human experience. It's just... Even in a crowd, you know, sometimes we feel alone. We just feel disconnected and isolated. But that's not because there aren't people. It's just because we're in our own head. And right now you're in your own head, baby. Because I'm right here. You aren't alone. You're not lonely. You aren't. You're <laughs> there are more people around you than you even can fathom. Truly. Can you just look at me, please? I love you. What's going on? I can't do anything if you don't talk to me. Yeah, I, I can't read your mind. I wish I could. Oh my god, that would be so useful. If I could read your mind. I mean, if I could read minds in general, I, I, mean, I would be doing... I don't know what I would be doing. Yeah, I'd be basically Darren Brown. Which would be amazing. I would love that. But again, can't do it. I wish I could. <laughs> oh my god, I wish. That's what I'll do. I'll go find Darren Brown right now and ask him, like, hey Darren, I need your skill of mind reading. Because I need to know what's going on in my girlfriend's head. Because she won't talk to me for some reason. And that's not what I have to do. And just tell him what's going on. Baby, why don't you say anything? I'm so sorry. No, I I get that. That sucks. <sighs> it sucks when people that you, you know, I guess put it, give expectations to let you down. Especially when they're a friend. Because you expect something and then they fall short and then when they do you feel like disappointed and hurt. And even sometimes betrayed because you expected them to do one thing and then they fell short can you like tell me exactly what happened instead of being so vague well, that's different that's not falling short of expectations that's betraying expectations that's not a good friend that's what that is yes genuinely someone who do that is not a good friend and you're probably better off not being friends with them I know. I feel like I learned this lesson late in life, but it's a really good lesson. It's like some people are just toxic and some people are just not ready to be in your life yet. And it sucks because you might like that person a lot and you enjoy their company, you enjoy their time, but they're just not good for you. It might be a pattern, it might be a behavior, it might be a, a million different things, but some people are just not good in your life. You know, they're going to cause you more pain than joy. And it feels like your friend was one of those people. Because this isn't the first time, baby. This isn't the first time something like this has happened, is it? No, not even close. And it's not going to be the last either. That's the thing, it's, it's, it's a cycle, and it just keeps happening over and over again. You're aware of it, so it, it sucks, but it's up to you to break it, you know? Currently, you have all the power here. You can decide what happens next. Do you let the cycle continue, or do you break the cycle and, you know, get free of it? I'm not going to, I mean, obviously I feel like I'm pushing your hand one way or another, but I don't want to. I want you to make that choice. Because if I make it for you, then you're going to resent me for making it. You're going to, even if it's the right choice, you're going to, it didn't come from you, you know? Like, this, the choice has to come from you. I can't, I can't be the one making that choice for you. 
Even if I want to. And if, <laughs> I definitely want to, but... It, it's really up to you. You have to be the one who wants that. Because if you don't, then... Then you're then you're gonna be upset with me for pushing that for you. So it's it's truly up to you to make the choice about what to do next. But if you're asking my advice, my advice would be just examine the relationship and consider if it's worth continuing. Because a friendship shouldn't be so tumultuous and so full of angst. You know, they should be someone you go to when you need help or, you know, for comfort and kindness and bonding. And it shouldn't be something you're afraid of and isolating and cold and cruel. And that's what she's been doing. She's been all those things. She's been cruel and calculating and just not a very nice person. Yeah. I just don't want you to, I just don't want to see you sad anymore, baby. Come here. Come here, come here. I love you so much. I just hate seeing you like this. Every time you hurt, I hurt. It's true. I hurt when I watch you hurt. It sucks. I just want to make it go away. Oh my god, yeah, we don't have to talk about it anymore. We can do whatever you want for us tonight. I promise. Yeah. Whatever you need, baby. Truly.